clean up on aisle seven. <laughs> oh my gosh. What did you do back here? Just trimmed a little bit of spray foam. <laughs> Just a little bit. Holy cow, it looks like somebody puked up all over my bedroom floor. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, so I'm getting ready to make the transitions for these pieces and so step one was to trim the excess spray foam out of the way. So I got that done and usually Shelly is so adverse to having a mess in the bus that I don't even have to ask. This will be cleaned up. That's right. I gotta get my broom, man. <laughs> It'll be cleaned up by the time I get back with the foam. Flash forward 30 seconds. And now she's realizing the depth of my mess. Not too bad. The real bummer is the cardboard things ain't gonna fit back up there without the foam to hold them, so I gotta get that back up there so we can get our solar control back in place. It's yeah, because be... there's a lot of heat that comes through these windows. Oh, yeah, it's, it's amazing. Gonna... Okay, YouTube, I got one side fitted in there. So the good thing or the easiest thing is they are parallel for width. They're not square on the ends. So what I do is cut a piece of, of cardboard the proper width and then I get it close on the ends. Like right here, I just need to add a little bit. So I just mark how much I need to add there and put a plus there, like that. Like right here, I can see that's a little fat. So I'll put a mark there. So that needs to come in. And down here, I'm way short. So I'll add that much down there, put a little plus there. And then I'll mark this right bottom so I can remember how it goes in here. So I should be able to cut this piece off of that pattern now. I'll just go lay it on there and uh, make the same adjustments that I marked on there. Always try to make it fit a little tight the first time because it's easier to take some off. It's not easy to put it back. So let's go see if I can get that one to fit. So I got one spot, I don't know if it's in the camera, I don't think I do. I got that little nib, but I'm gonna go get that up. I think I might be in after that, we'll see. Okay, that's what's up, YouTube. I got those babies fitted in there. So they're a good fit in that uh, two inch frame up there. Now I just have to cut a little rabbit on the edge for the bolts, and then I'll put my connector nuts for the anchor bolts that are gonna hold those up and cut out the holes. So after doing the front ones and the and what the count the challenges that we encountered up there, um, I'm gonna make these ones come over a little bit farther so you can't see that black butyl and just be easier and more pretty to try not make them fit so precise. I'll just give myself a little bit of overlap. So
thought I wanted you to paint out there in the I sun. I did in the sun. I had to go get my glasses. It was way too and bright. I just took them out there so the the uh, texture wouldn't get all over here. Okay. This all set up for you, baby. Over here in the shade, I'm watching out for you. I like it. I like this shade. It's like so bright out there. Especially paint and white, you can't even see it, huh? No, that's why I got my glasses. It's, you got a good coat of um, texture on here. Let's get some top coat on here and we'll be good to go. At least the first layer, right? Should just take two, two more coats of, two top coats that ought to be good to go. Yeah. It won't take it long to dry today because the warm weather is definitely upon us. So it's super nice to be back here in the shade, huh? Yes. Can I hang out here all day? If it takes that, you that long to paint, you need to, <laughs> you need to watch it dry, and then you can hang out here all day. <laughs> all right, so we got these the foam pieces all painted for this up here. And I got the connector nuts on this side, so we're gonna see if we can get them up in there this morning. Sunshine. Wow, it just, that just totally changes the look of this room. Now we got to uh, cut the clearance for these where the connector nuts are. So, uh, this goes like this. We're talking about those guys right there. Yeah, connector nuts. that one. Yeah, that did a good job of marking yeah. This is going to make a mess. Shelly's going to love it. It's getting it hard to keep making messes in here because it's like, ah, we got, now we got another mess to clean up. We decided to move outside to eliminate some of the mess. Maybe this is a oh, yeah. Easy peasy. Missed it. He blew off his drill bit. Too late, baby. That moment is gone. I know it's gone. It Lost was, to history. It was so cool. It was so epic. <laughs> That's our little bottom left corner code. So they should just push right up and through, huh? Yeah. So this is how this is all gonna work. Now, that will grab the foam. And hold the foam in place. Yeah, that's, so that's why we put the connector nuts and then we put a lock washer under the connector nuts so they'd stay in place when we go to tighten these up. They don't try to spin. And they got nylock nuts from when we connected the skin anyhow. So, put this up in here. These things are fragile, I think. Oh man, that sun is killer. You gotta be careful with them. Especially since they, they got those pre-scored marks so that you can snap them. And when you cut them really thin like this, you can break them easy if you're not careful. Yeah. So that's perfect. And now when we make the transition pieces here, they'll come up and actually come clear out here. So those will go through the metal and then into that connector bolt, so. Cool. That's the best place to store those is where they go. We don't have to store them anymore. Okay guys, so we're gonna finish getting that one up and then put the other side up and we will have them up in their spots. So um, we're gonna go ahead and end the video here and um, we will just catch you guys in the next one. Know that we love sharing the journey with you all and um, love the comments and the support that we're receiving from everyone and just have a wonderful day.